go to new part click ok and the dimension are given in inches verify the dimensions check the status bar the dimensions are in inches we are good click on the sketch tab click on the sketch to start the sketch and the pop-up pop-up window will be asking on which plane you want to make the sketch select a plane on which to create a sketch for the identity I'm going to select the right plane for it and then first of all I am going to make a gear blank and then I'm going to extrude that gear blank so I'm going to select under the types of rectangular I'm going to select the center rectangular start from the region of the and the dimension of uh, this side is 0 0.75 this dimension is also 0 0.75 either we can add the dimension or we can add the equal relation between them and click exit sketch and then go to feature tab and click on extrude the base boss and now I am going to extrude the base boss uh, and the depth of uh, this extrusion is 11.16 and make it zoom to fit so and from here we can change the direction so it's good now again I am going to click on sketch and uh, start the sketch for the plane of the sketch I am going to select this face, this the, the front face. I am going to select it and then I am going to click view orientation and select the normal tool. So this sketch will be normal to us. So we can zoom, zoom in and zoom out by pressing by uh, uh, moving the middle mouse button. So I am going to zoom in like that and then I am going to select the line and I am going to draw a sketch a line here, a line here, a line here, a line here and click OK and then I am going to draw the center line and move the point like here when you go to the line this this uh, symbol this small symbol will be appear this symbol means this is the midpoint of this line if I am go here this point will be appear this is the middle of this line if I go here a middle point will be appear that means this is the middle point of this line if I go here a middle point will be appear if I go on this edge a middle point will be here this is the middle point so we we needed to draw this uh, reference line or center line on this line and starting from the midpoint I'm going to select it and draw to here now I am going to select the smart dimension and dimension these two points select this point and select this point this dimension is 0.166 As you see, the shape will change. Now I am going to click on this point. Click the left mouse button and keep it holding and drag it like that. Now I am going to add. I am going to add relation. I am going to select add relation. And under the select intensities, I am going to select this line. First this line, then this line. And then I am going to select this reference line because I wanted to add a symmetric relationship. So first I am going to select two lines, then a, a reference line to make the symmetry relationship. So I am going to select this line. Now you see under the add relation, the all acceptable relation will be appear. So I am going to select the symmetric relation. I wanted this portion of this portion of the sketch is symmetric to the opposite portion of this sketch and now I am going to add this length is 0 0.02
and again the length from this point to this point is 0 0.160 and we also know the distance from this point to this point which is 0 0.03 now the sketch is fully defined I am going to exit the sketch and then I am going to click on isometric view and if if the sketch is not selected just click on here the sketch will be selected go to feature tip and tap and select the ex, uh, extruded cut base boss and it will be make the cut and under the type of uh, extrusion under direction one i am going to select through all and if the direction is uh, like that in, uh, not in right position you can reverse the direction and now this first cut is made now we needed to add the fillets to this cut so i am going to click fillet select this and this both these two edges and the dimension of the fillet is 0 0.005 click ok now i am going to uh, linear pattern these uh, the this cut and this fillet so i am going to select select linear pattern under the direction so it's asking in on which direction you want to make a linear pattern like on x y on x direction or on y direction so here we are going to select our direction i am going to simply select this edge because we wanted our extrusion in that direction and I am going to select under the feature to pattern I am going to select which features I want to pattern so I am going to select this cut I wanted this cut and I wanted this fillet and this fillet these two pattern and uh, these two features will be selected uh, in this dialog box and the these two features will be added in the pattern so I am going to make it isometric so now here it's asking number of instances so how much uh, how much uh, uh, number of uh, the these cuts and fillets we needed to uh, add in this pattern so i am going to increase it you can increase it like that and the distance between one one uh, cut to the other cut is given as 0 0.215 and after adding this now the distance uh, from let me zoom it so distance from this point to this point is given 0 0.25 so i am going to keep increasing uh, the number of instances uh, when it reach uh, at this point we can stop one thirty two seven thirty five You see the last one is um, here so it's 52 let's do it like that if I 51 it's here so I'm going to add it 52 now you see this uh, the rack of the gear is done go to view orientation and click on isometric 